Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another dollar DIY video where the majority of the supplies used in this video cost a dollar each or less. Another cool thing is that some of these items used to create these DIYs cost you less than a dollar because they're items you may already have around the house or that can easily be found for free. All of these DIYs look super high end, super cute. No one's gonna guess they cost a dollar. And I really love the way they turned out. And a lot of them can be personalized to meet your own needs, style, and just customized to your own liking. All right, that's all I really have to say about that. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. For this first DIY, all you need is some Dollar Tree's nautical rope. But if you don't have that on hand, that's okay. Amazon does carry a very comparable rope, same size and nine feet for about a dollar. Now you do have to buy it in bulk, but I mean, kind of no different than buying a whole lot of Dollar Tree rope, which I usually do anyways. And that's linked in the description. Then if your family loves cheese balls, you're in luck. If your family does not love cheese balls, that's okay. You can use like any container you want to. I love cheese balls because we eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I also love the containers they come in because they are huge, even without wrapping them with rope. And when doing this, you only need to hot glue like the first few rows and then just wrap a whole bunch of times before you hot glue again. We're not going all the way down though, so I don't know, about like one fourth of the way, stop and cut it. And I'm guesstimating that I use probably $3 worth of Dollar Tree's rope. You see what I'm saying there? Dollar Tree also carries this poly rope 50 feet for $1, which is really a great deal. And I kind of like the way it looks. Now, the great thing about wrapping the middle of these containers is you only need to like wrap the first line of rope and then the very last line. So you really get a nice clean finish. One pack of the black rope got me pretty far. After two packs, I was almost completely done. So I only needed a very little bit of the third pack of the black poly rope, which is really a great deal. So what, let's say five or $6 for this upcycle DIY, whatever you wanna call it. For the other container, which is a little bit smaller, I don't know if it was an off brand or you know what, that doesn't matter. <laughs> We're just doing something a little bit different. All I did was take a black Sharpie and map out where I wanted my black rope to go. Everything else was the same. I wrapped it in rope, no special technique. The only thing I was aware of, or I made sure to keep in mind, is I only wanted one ugly side. So I tried to cut the rope all at the same area. You see what I'm saying? And these baskets actually turned out a heck of a lot better than I had imagined. I thought they'd be something cute for the time being, but I really do love the way these look. Very polished, totally digging the style and how the black and the jute look together. And these are great for the bathroom. You can put your toilet paper or um, your tampons in there, anything that you need in the bathroom but you don't wanna put on display. For the next DIY, Dollar Tree also carries these little wood pieces. They're real wood, so that's great. But just to let you know, like Walmart, Michaels, a lot of different stores do carry little pieces of wood like this for like a dollar or less. And if you've watched any of my videos recently, I'm totally digging like staining wood with coffee. All you have to do is brew a fresh pot of coffee, extra strong. When doing wood, it really does work best if the coffee's hot and then you can soak it again if you want a darker stain. And people have been asking, how long do I let it soak? I just let it soak until the coffee's cooled. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason or science to this. I just usually walk away and forget about it. Then some of these little coffee mug hooks, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, they all sell these and just some black spray paint I had on hand and just sprayed the little hooks, both sides until they dried. Or I let them dry before I sprayed the other side, but that's totally optional. You could leave them gold and I do like gold. I just didn't like that tone of gold. Then just marked off in the middle and screwed the hooks in. This is extremely soft wood. It was not hard screwing these screws in by hand at all. And then, I mean, these are cute hooks but they also make great storage. And because the wood is so soft, you can easily just use two little nails to hang this on the wall. Now for the other little wood piece, another idea is if you have any like knobs from a dresser or a cabinet, just take one of those and all you need to do is snatch up a nail and then just hammer it into the wood. And I'm telling you, 
Seriously, this wood is really, really soft. And we're not hanging anything heavy on this hook. So then just like a little bit of super glue or E6000 or any type of stronger glue, I mean, hot glue may even work and just stick the knob back on the nail. And there, that's easy, that's it. I put my little knob lower cause I thought it kind of looked cute, kind of like a little doorknob. And this would be great to hang decor or a towel for the bathroom. I mean, really anything. And we are on to the next one where all you need is really any type of a hardwood canvas or any type of Dollar Tree little wall art that can be flipped over and it looks like a shadow box. I bought these for Valentine's Day and I was so mad at myself because I didn't need them. So I'm really working on that this year, not picking up stuff just because I think I might use it someday because now I have an entire house full of crap I think I might use someday. Pull off the frame, but if you break it, no big deal. You can easily put it back together with super glue or if you're an E6000 type of gal or guy, use that. I just can't do the smell of E6000. Then using some black spray paint I had on hand, but you can paint the frame with black acrylic paint or whatever you have on hand. I'm actually out of black acrylic paint right now, which stinks. I probably would have preferred to use that. Then this is a printable I found on Etsy. Totally love this lady's shop. These printables, I got 12 for a dollar. You download them and they're mine to keep. I have that linked in the description, but if you don't wanna go that route, that's okay. Sarah Jane from Cheek on the Cheap, she just uploaded a video where she found these two prints for free. So I will have her video linked in the description and you can check that out if you want to. When doing color prints, and attaching it to any type of wood or board, I really have been digging using a glue stick. I've got this technique down to a science, I feel, to get no bubbles and no wrinkles. So what you wanna do is you wanna start applying your glue stick, but don't put it all over your board. You kinda work in pieces and then smooth the paper out as if it was contact paper or wallpaper. And really, it works out great and I love that it does not mess with the ink in any type of way. Then just using some of Dollar Tree's wired jute twine. I found this last year and I just have a few scraps and pieces. Took the ends, tied them in a knot to make it look like a knot and then just hot glued it to the top. And I did three of these and I love the way they look. So like I said, I purchased 12 of these prints. Love the way they look. I'm actually putting six of them. I blew them up ordered online at, um, I think it was Staples or no, maybe it was Walgreens. Blew them up to 16 by 20 and that's gonna go into my dining room. These are actually gonna be a gift. And we're on to the next DIY where all you need is any type of a little Dollar Tree's tray. It can be plastic minus plastic and some type of strong cold glue along with any handles you may have on hand. These two handles came off of a Dollar Tree's little flowers and garden tin from a previous DIY and I'm a super glue type person, so that's what I'm using. Let that dry, then just using Walmart's 97 cent spray paint. Although realistically, if I had nicer spray paint on hand, I would use that instead because Walmart spray paint isn't the best for DIYs like this, especially since we're spray painting plastic. But you can go back and apply Mod Podge all over it and that'll help seal it a little bit better. Although ideally I would like to get some time to clear sealant to make it more waterproof. Then Dollar Tree sells body wash in the amber jars. And this is hand wash in the clear jar, which I really do like, by the way. The body wash doesn't really lather up that well, so just rip off the little, I don't know, label, clean it out, and then the soap pump just fits right in there nicely. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't need to label these because I think it's obvious this is soap. And then one of them I just cleaned out and put lotion in there. And I also think that's obvious it's lotion. Sometimes you just don't need to label stuff. I kind of like the minimalistic look of these and it looks pretty cute on our soap dish. We're coming around home stretch, getting to the end of this video where all you need is one of these little shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree. To get the back part off, just remove the little sawtooth hanger. I keep my little sawtooth hangers because they come in really handy for hanging DIYs. The back of this easily pops off after the little hanger's gone. Then you can use any printable you want. I made this printable, you know, to go with our bathroom theme here. Anytime I make a printable, I share it with you for free and it's linked in the description. I'm also making one of these for my daughter. Her name's Hope. 
But look, the technique is exactly the same for both. Just use a glue stick, apply your paper, and then some hot glue, super glue, just use your glue of choice to put the frame back on. Next, you do have a few options. So you can use some of Dollar Tree's colored beads and spray paint them. Although I do not recommend using Walmart's 97 cent spray paint. Or if you're a bead fanatic like me, you can go on Amazon and they have a thousand beads, seven different sizes, also the extremely large, like, you know, three quarters of an inch size for about $16. I bought two packs and that's also linked in the description. Whatever you choose to do, just string up your beads. I like to use wire. I think it works a lot better and it's easier to actually string the bead because jute, I'm not fighting with it or I don't have to burn it or tape the end. Totally personal preference. You can do however you want. If you're using wire, just kind of squish it into a little hole, cut off the end and then hot glue it and apply it to your little sign. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then here we go. This is a really cute little bathroom sign. I made something very similar to this a long time ago and it was cute enough, but I like this one a heck of a lot better. And my daughter loves her little name sign too. If you're still here, you're amazing, by the way. Wanted to let you know my next video is going to be the first of, I'm not really sure how many videos, my craft room makeover. Starting off with taking trash that my neighbors were going to throw away and turning that into decor. More specifically, furniture that's going to furnish my craft room because I'm not really making over a craft room. I'm starting from fresh. So I have no decor, no supplies, no furniture upstairs. And what better way to start off than using items that were free and making them over. So thank you so much for watching. So much love to you, my friend. And I will catch you next time. Stay home for the people we love. Be creative. Reuse, recycle, repurpose. Craft your stash. Use what you have. Let's flatten the curve.